it was a boarding single sex school i can't do this like oh my gosh i can't do this because i've never like lived with that much people the dorms are like crowded we got like 10 people in a dorm it was a big ass bathroom that everyone has to bath in it like guess what everybody gonna be looking at you before you get water you have to like be in line like you have to be in a queue bro like if you're not in the queue and you don't get water first trust me you're gonna you're gonna be late for class if you're late for class you're gonna get punished if you don't get water early and the seniors come into the bathroom and you're like you're a freshman you're gonna get punished you're gonna screw up if you're not out of the house before then you're gonna get punished and if you don't go to class early you're gonna get double punishment and if you don't go do your duties you're gonna get triple punishment oh hell no <laughs> Hey y'all, it's your girl Fia and I'm back with another video. This video was requested from my previous video, Get to Know Me video. I know this video is pretty long, but it's worth watching, trust me. Okay, so I think this video is actually gonna bring a lot of memories, especially if you're an African and you're here, like you're, you're abroad and stuff. It's gonna bring like, I mean, it doesn't matter where you are, honestly. It's just gonna bring a lot of memories, so hopefully this entertains you. Four years ago, there was a girl called Afia who wrote her BEC and got accepted into her first choice school in Cape Coast, which is called Enfansman Girls Senior High School. So yeah, I got ready and all that. You know your girl is so excited to go to high school. Like, stop playing. Like, I got into the school for the first time i went there and it was it was it was huge so i went to school for the first day and oh my gosh it was purple i think that's why i like purple so much <laughs> anyway so you guys i went to the school for the first time and i was like oh my gosh the school is so freaking big like it is mad huge so let me say this it's it took us um about an hour about an hour drive to get to my school my high school because like i live far away from my school so i was like in accra city i was in accra and then i had to move to cape coast and guess what y'all i forgot to tell you it was a boarding school oh my gosh it was a boarding single sex school can you imagine oh my gosh it was hell wait wait let's not get into that yet so i i got there for the first time i was like it looks good whatever it is so freaking big like it's, it's mad huge i wouldn't say it's like my college here but it's like very huge like dead ass it literally takes you like a whole five to ten minutes walk from my house to my classes so it's cotton house it literally takes you like that long so i first got there and oh my gosh like i was so excited to get out of the house and all that my mom dropped me off and now she was leaving i got emotional i was like oh my gosh you leave me here it's like psych not playing like i'm so excited like bro get out of here <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking so like my school right like the schools we have like we're divided into like houses so we have like six or seven or eight or ten houses i honestly don't remember anymore because like it was like four years ago but i was in scott and house they had other houses like crawfee house yaboa house butler house angma house i don't remember them but, like it was like in colors so i was in red i think that's the reason why i like red <laughs> we are all like divided so like we don't really like it literally takes you like a lot of you know time to get to like a, diff a different house but yeah that was like the fun of it so i first got in there and you guys the place was big but when you get in there like into the houses like i mean into the dorms the dorms are like crowded i'm sorry it's like crowded we got like 10 people in a dorm like it was very crowded and i was not used to it because i was never in a board and house school like i was never in a dorm with like hella people so i was never used to it so i was like oh my gosh like i can't do this like this is mad awkward and when you're like a newbie they look at you mad weird bro we're gonna get into that one i cannot forgive my seniors if you're watching this i cannot forgive you but yeah like oh my gosh you guys like 
I can't do this like oh my gosh I can't do this because I've never like lived with that much people I really love my privacy so I was like I cannot do this but um I gotta live with it that's that's how it is I gotta adapt to it whatever so I packed my stuff and yo it was time to take a shower and I went to the bathroom it was a big ass bathroom that everyone has to bath in it like yo i'm not playing with y'all like everyone had to take a shower in that big bath so guess what everybody gonna be looking at you um, uh, yeah so i it was time to take a shower and i was like oh my gosh i can't do this like this is just awkward people were just staring at you and stuff and it was, it was an all girls school so it was just all girls i mean some people wouldn't mind because it's like all girls i just like mine because you know i don't want a lot of people staring at me and i just don't want to shower with a lot of people like it was like hella like 20 30 people the bathroom was very big so it was it had enough room for everyone but yeah yo you guys and water before you get water you have to like be in line like you have to be in the queue what if you're not in the queue and you don't get water first trust me you're gonna you're gonna be late for class and if you're late for class you're gonna get punished if you don't get water early and the seniors come into the bathroom and you're like you're a freshman you're gonna get punished you're gonna scrub yes you yes you heard me you're gonna scrub the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> but you literally have to wake up at 6 freaking a.m or even like earlier than that to take a shower and get out of the dorm because if you don't do the dorm like the whole house closes at like a certain time i think seven or so i don't remember so if you're not out of the house before then you're gonna get punished and if you don't go to class early you're gonna get double punishment and if you don't go do your duties you're gonna get triple punishment Mm -mm, get somebody else to do it for every high school student i feel like everyone experienced this in africa like ghana mostly so like we were assigned duties to like work on it every morning so like we i mostly had to like sweep and bro i had to sweep in the dust so guess what like you'll be sweeping and your socks is gonna get dirty your shoe is gonna get dirty and nobody cares and like after you're done sweeping right and you think oh my gosh it looks good you just turn your back and come back then the leaves are all falling out again and then you just start to walk what what is this like should i just leave it and of course not you cannot leave it because if they come to inspect and they realize it's dirty they're, they're like they're literally gonna think you did not work on your plot or whatever so you're gonna get called out or you're gonna get punished again so bro it was like hell like trust me i was mad lazy for that like i feel like that school was not it for me because i was mad lazy for that so like first day of school right we get to be assigned with like school mothers school mothers are, like basically a senior who is like kind of like taking care of you do you understand like the senior is actually put in charge to take care of you kind of so we call them school mothers you know we gotta and then since we're we were a girls school we have to call them sisters what bro what are you talking about man yes you heard that right sisters if you if she's a senior and you don't call her sister you're in trouble you're gonna get in big trouble so you better respect your seniors or else you're that I loved my school mother oh my gosh like she was so freaking nice to me because usually like other school mothers are so mean and yo you guys you know what's the crazy part I, i've been seeing this woman like you cannot bully i don't i don't think you can just get it okay you can't outdo the doer you get it because it's not blood i'm sorry like in my school we like there were mad bullies bro like mad bullies so like if you're a senior and you used to bully other kids guess what when you get a school child a newbie you're they're, they're gonna bully your child like your school child just because you used to bully other students so yeah so uh, i was so lucky because my school mother was so cool she 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 didn't like all that extra shit she was not like into like you know bullying and stuff so i, I kind of got away with it but for my other friends bro it was hell for them bro they had to wash people's dishes mm -mm, get somebody else to do it i feel bad for people and honestly i feel like i got on the good side some like most of it because i kind of had an attitude so if you like tell me to do something like especially wash your bowl like excuse me you can't get up to go do it like if you tell me to wash your bowl i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it and guess what if i if i don't do it i get punished for it 
I know. So I, I, I kind of got on the good side because I never really got exposed to like bullying like that. So, oh, you know the best part? The best part and the worst part. I hate that part so much. So every Saturdays, they got to do inspection. Oh my gosh, y'all. You guys, I hate this so much. And y'all like, it's literally the worst. And for inspection, you got to get your white best sheet. Make sure it's neatly laid. Everything looks good good no stains nothing none of that and make sure your nails are neatly cut and you guys i just not look like this in high school i promise you i did not look like this i had a bad head ass bad headed ass looking girl i was so embarrassing in high school i, I don't think i have pictures i mean if i did have pictures i want to show you because <laughs> it was embarrassing okay so like you need to make sure your hair is like cut to like this length it has to be a, a little bit bold and that's how they check so usually they grab a pen let me grab a pen y'all this is a perfect one so usually they grab a pen like this right and then they put your pen through here right through here if it sticks inside you're in trouble that means your hair is grown but if they put it here and it like literally like fall off that means it's not grown <laughs> And guess what? I never like to have a bald cut because I hate it. I look like a, a freaking um, potato head. <laughs> I did not like to get my hair cut like that low, but I have to do it because of school's sake. You guys, I want to say the food is trash. No, maybe it is trash. <laughs> <laughs> okay let me elaborate some part of it some some foods were not it for me because i don't like certain foods and yeah some foods were not it for me but i loved watching y'all like yeah watch it always be hidden apart from that any other food was not that good i usually eat it when i'm hungry or when i don't have an option so guess what you always have to go to dining it's like it's mandatory like by force you gotta go to dining like you cannot sleep in your room unless it's like a weekend and sure because um yeah if if you if you don't go to dining and they like see out of out of the dining room you, you could get punished for it the food the food they be giving us like bro it looked as if we were in prison <laughs> They were like literally starving the shit out of us. You could only get satisfied on the weekends because people don't usually show up for dining on weekends. So yeah, on Saturdays, yo, you guys, let me tell you this. And you should listen to this part the most. So like, Saturdays, we get to have visiting hours. What was that? Y'all hear it? That's weird. Boy, it's a freaking motorcycle. <laughs> So yeah, on Saturdays, we get to have visiting hours. It was very interesting. So visiting hours is technically for your your parents to come visit you and give you food and just spend time with your family type shit, you know? Like, you know how it goes. But yo, this is a fun part. So like the first two weeks of school, right? Visiting was like, oh, your parents come to visit you, give you food, have a little fan chat and do nice things. And oh my gosh, so fun. Nice. Get, get into the middle of the semester. On Saturdays, you know who shows up? D-boys. <laughs> I mean, D-boys. The boys show up on Saturday instead of their families, instead of their parents and stuff. I'm like... Bro, like, so on Saturdays, instead of a single sex school, it turns into a mixed school where we got the boys and the girls together. Oh my god! Wow! So it's like always late. So you know how, like, on like, on regular days, we don't care about dressing at all. We just don't fucking care. We're like, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna just dress anyhow I want because besides, it's just girls. Like, nobody cares, right? Nobody cares. But on Saturdays, yo. But I told you, when you see their dressing, you're like, "Girl, stop playing with me. This ain't that girl." Let's say let's 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 call her let's call her Zoe. When you see Zoe on a Saturday, you be like, "Wait a minute, who are you?" 
Th this ain't Zoe. I'm not looking at Zoe right now. Like, this ain't Zoe. Because Zoe looks way different from her usual look. Bro, if your uniform is here, it goes here. I am the one, the one you're trying to you get it? Because <laughs> they be doing a little alterations on your uniform, make it look good. Because they're trying to see them boys. They're trying to see them boys and socialize. But it was fun, though, not gonna lie. I mean, low key, I kind of like. At first, I was like, yeah, I don't want to go out, whatever. But my friends used to tell me, oh my gosh, they saw these fine boys and stuff. So I was like, okay, why not? So I started, like, you know, going out with my friends. And then, yo, I tell you, there were hella dudes at my school, like, on Saturdays. Hella dudes. Like, some come to see their, like, girlfriends and, you know, just have fun with them and stuff. Should be going on upstairs. So don't, don't try to go upstairs if you're not ready for anything. I'm not gonna go too much in details with that one. But like, I be hearing the stories or even after visiting, when you go upstairs, you're like, nah, you don't wanna be here, like. But it was so nice, like, you get to see boys, boys talk to you. Also, they wanted to come to a school because their school was also a single sex school. So they're trying to see them girls, them girls. <laughs> so yeah, they have to come and, you know, visit us. And it was fun. I actually enjoyed it. For the most part, even though I hated some part of it, I actually really did enjoy the school a lot than I expected. Okay, so you guys, for the academic part of the video, um, so my classes were very far away from my house. My dorm, as I already said, is like 10 minutes walk or 20 minutes walk. I'm a slow walker i walk mad slow i'm one of those kids that be in the hallways and walk mad slow to piss you off i cannot walk fast at all so guess what i was always late for my classes so like high school or even here like in american you know schools um you know how like the students like rather move from classes to classes and it's like the professors the teachers just stay in their class this is the opposite we stay in the class and the teachers move around so guess what we run the school i'm just joking but yeah like it was fun so like you get to be in that same class for the rest of your entire semester but i kind of liked it y'all might be like oh my god that's not cool but nah it was fun because like you get to be with them it like it starts to feel like oh that's your like that these are dogs they're family like you know it's just better that way than to like just move from random classes and just meet new people i mean i don't like that honestly so it was a bit of a struggle for me when i came here because you know i had to adjust to a lot of things but yeah the teachers were mad cool some of them were not so you know how they they used to be whooping my ass in middle school i mean i wasn't really a bad student so i wasn't really getting whoopings but i was definitely getting whoopings though <laughs> but yeah so i thought in high school they're gonna stop that childish shit like they're not gonna whoop that ass but y'all you guys it's 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 literally the worst ever in high school so some teachers actually prefer to whoop your ass with canes like literally sticks like tree sticks like sticks with canes whoop your butt oh hell no and that should be mad painful bro like so yeah, it was this, I think it was just this one teacher that used to do that a lot. And I hate her, bro. Like, she was, she was very strict and always angry. Bro, if she calls on you and you don't answer, you're in trouble. So you always gotta be strict. You can never sleep in her class. Like, you can never sleep in her class. But yeah, I didn't like her like that because she was just, I don't know. She was just too much. But some of my professors were very cool. And also, like, since it was an all-girls school, most of our professors were not, like, men. They were more of women. I don't know why, but, I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? Because some of the, you know, I don't want to expose you, but some of the men be getting, like, be setting their eyes on these girls and shit. So, yo, I, <laughs> I'm not going to spill it, but, like, there was this one pro teacher in my school that, you know, always be looking at us weird, you know, like, bro, like, stop, like that's mad creepy bro during prep time let me tell you guys during prep time so prep time is like in the evening so after we're done with our morning classes morning afternoon classes guess what we gotta go back to the class 
for evening class. Evening class is you literally just studying on your own. So it's like just, yeah, studying on your own, like going to the library to study. But ours, we had to go to the class to study. And we call it prep time. You guys, that one was crazy. Because I kind of like prep time. You get to do the most stupidest shit ever. You get to fool all around, like fool around with your friends and like just pranks and do all sort of, all sort of stupid shit, bro. Like, it Stop it get some help so like during prep time we gotta be in our classes and try to study bro i'll tell you what I, I was never studying so yeah instead of us studying bro we're not study we just go play around prime people and just fool around and stuff we be talking a lot bro can you imagine that we like act like school like it's ev i feel like it's everywhere my especially in ghana you like there gets right names of talkative so basically the loud the loud mouths in the class people who talk a lot and i was one of them i think yeah i think i was one my name was always in the paper and it was bro so like they get to write names of people who make noise like loud noise and just bro and even the tiniest little sound that you make if the if the person writing the names of talkative hates you or is your enemy just know that regardless of what you like regardless like whatever you do you're still gonna end up in the book of hell <laughs> your name is definitely gonna be in the like the paper just because she don't she doesn't like you anytime i knew that there was one person writing the names of Takati, i'm like yeah fucking whether i talk or not whether i make noise or not i'm still gonna like my name is still gonna be written so yeah i used to have this for oh my gosh i miss her so much abigo we used to fool around and shit but like yeah we used to fool around and shit and then like yo when they write the names of talkatives and then like the seniors come to like inspect our block bro they come and check the names of talkatives and we get punished sometimes we get some ass whoopings yes yo i mean ass whoopings like we they bro they trained us so strong <laughs> like that us like but yeah i know yeah just run oh my gosh like that's that seems so much that seems like so much drama that's like hell like i i don't want to live this life but yo i didn't want to but it was fun i get to have the experience anyway you guys my school was like a athlete like athletic school kind of i feel like all all senior high schools were kind of like they had sports and stuff i was in the basketball team okay don't underestimate me i was in the basketball team i used to play basketball yeah but i never continued here anyway so we used to go to sports like it was i kind of liked being in the sports team because we get to go outside the walls of infants my girls senior high school because guess what it was only girls so when i first got to the school i got a little bit scared because it was just all girls i'm not used to it like i was i was like oh my gosh like why there's so many girls in here i was not used to it i'm like oh my gosh this is gonna be so crazy because i thought oh my gosh well it's all girls i don't have to like focus on boys whatever like you know it's just me like i gotta do me like because there are no boys you can do whatever you want like you know boy if you don't get so i got i'm like oh my gosh it's just girls like all i see is just girls walking around like this is just gonna be so awkward but yeah so what was i saying so you guys so my like yeah my school is a sports school and yeah whatever so like during sports season we get to go outside the walls of infants my girls senior high school and go to like different schools to like actually witness the um witness other schools we play inter 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 schools like like other schools come together we all come together and like play sports and like compete and stuff i know like they do that they do that here come on they do that in america like bro but yeah i was was like i'm sorry i was was way more fun we get to like <sighs> jama that's what we call it, we call it jama they would just be clapping hands and just making noise and cheering. Yeah, just be doing cheerleading. Hot, who, hot, cheer, cheer. Yeah. Like, 
we don't do that we club and like have fun so you guys anytime you get out like out of like the sports thing anytime we go back home we lose our voice because we were yelling and cheering and supporting it was so freaking cool like i tell you it was very fun because you get to go outside and socialize you get to meet boys and you get to like act I, I like don't talk to me like all type of you know like you know you want to talk to them boys like stop stop doing all that like stop acting all hollywood like bro you know you know what you, you know you want to talk to them so yeah oh for like our uniforms we we wear purple oh some people just say mauve but we wear purple and yeah bro so first freshman year of school right freshman year of school let me go back freshman year of school our uniforms goes all the way down here under the knee that's what i'm can y'all see me under the knee it goes all the way down here second year of school it goes a little bit a little bit above the knee that has and for third year it's like all the way here I am the one, the one you're trying to yes all the way there y'all like i know a lot of people can relate to this it's like all the way there so you look for freshmen like newbies we look very lame asf like very lame i was very lame if you met me in high school you'd be like yeah this girl is really so i hope you guys enjoyed this video as i did because it actually brought a lot of memories like that as you're like i i hope it actually brought you memories too like and if you're not like if you're non-african and you never experienced it i hope you enjoyed the video and you might want to experience it one day if you're like if you're so young and you want to go to africa you want to go to school like in ghana for that experience sure go ahead but you're not gonna like it like that <laughs> maybe yours might be different i don't know how it is now so but yeah if you really enjoyed it so much go go ahead to like this video and subscribe but yeah i actually really had fun because it brought a lot it brought a lot of memories you're like i just like think about it, i'm like damn like i've been through a lot of shit like i've been through a lot a lot here i am now i'm just thankful yeah i'm just thankful to be here i hope you guys like this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe yes you heard this like i hope i made your day i hope i made your day with this video i hope i brought back a lot of memories with this video so yeah have a good day are we out for the day it's me.